And we have some breaking news coming in from Australia. There's an attack that happened at the Sydney shopping mall and we're learning that at least four people have been killed in the stabbing spree at Westfield Mondi Junction in Sydney. Suspect uh, has been shot by the police. Now several police and ambulance units are currently on the scene. The area has been cordoned off and the public is urged to avoid the vicinity to allow emergency services to manage the situation. So this shocking news coming to the fore from Sydney. CNN News 18's Abhishek Jha is now joining us with more details on this. Abhishek, what more details do we have as far as the stabbing spree in Sydney is concerned? Well, the details are very horrifying. Uh, the good thing is that the attacker, the knife attacker, ha he has been tackled and he has been possibly killed also because there are visuals which shows him earlier uh, with a knife going randomly, going randomly uh, around people and trying to injure them. Uh, and then in some visuals, he's been shown uh, lying in a pool of blood with one police officer, uh, you know, probing onto him. So. Clearly, it looks like the attacker has been dead, but not before the, the massive harm and the terror he could uh, spread in the shopping mall. About four people are reported they killed. Many have been grievously injured. Uh, the man who was wearing an Australian rugby league jersey had entered the shopping center and began randomly shooting and stabbing people. There is no... Uh, intention of him that he went ahead with a targeted killing. It was a random killing of whoever was closer to him or whoever he could prey upon. He tried to kill them and injure them. But for now, he seems to have been killed by the police force. The entire area has been cornered off and the people have been asked not to come in that zone. Right. Abhishek, also, uh, do we have any details about the uh, uh, about the accused in this uh, uh, stabbing spree? And also, how many people did he attack? Well, it, it was a random, uh, uh, you know, attacking spree that he was on to. There was some uh, eyewitnesses which have also reported that they heard some gunshot firing. Uh, that is yet to be established whether he had both gun and knife that he was on attacking spree. Uh, but we do know that multiple people have been injured some very seriously, some have died on spot. The visuals coming from the scene are very gory, very terrifying. Uh, many people who were unassumingly going on about their shopping and their leisurely time spending in this bondage uh, Westfield shopping mall, they were attacked by this person who seemed a very normal person in a, in a Saturday rugby dress of Australian uh, nation. And uh, he, he doesn't look like a, a criminal. Uh, so... People could, we could see some of them, uh, some of the people who were present in the mall, they also tried to stop him. They showed some bravery. But, of course, there was uh, hundreds of people present in the mall, so he didn't have a, 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 a scarcity of the target, so he would just move away and go to kill, kill or injure somebody else uh, whom he could. Uh, so it, it was a very terrifying morning there, and uh, the ultimate report that we are currently uh, receiving says that about 40 people have been apparently killed and several more have been injured. The injured have been taken to nearby hospitals for, uh, you know, super specialty treatment. And the killer, the more information about the this attacker is being uh, gathered by the police present on the ground. All right, Abhishek, thank you so much for getting us all those details. So that's a shocking incident that is coming to the fore from a Sydney mall where four people have been killed in a stabbing spree.